In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble all the models in the Captain Zip core box. I'm Dave, let's get started. So for all these parts, I'm obviously clipping them out and cleaning them up with my hobby knife and scraping off all the mold lines. But I'm not going to show that for all the parts because that's just the same as any other plastic model out there. So the first mini I'm putting together is Captain Zip. And he's probably the simplest mini out of the box to put together. I'm starting with his smoke and jetpack and then adding the fin to the jetpack. That's all very easy because the king is so strong. And then uh, adding the torso onto the jetpack, which is easy again because there's a key there that puts it in the right position. Then we're gonna move on to the head, which is pretty simple as well. It's gonna make sure it aligns correctly. The legs are easy to put on because they have keys as well. So they only go one way, which is nice. Now we're gonna do the arms, which is a little bit more complicated. So make sure you have both arms ready to go at this stage, because as we put the arms on, we, uh, they need to touch each other. So the left arm cups underneath the right arm. So you need to have them both there ready so you can align them together. And then once they're aligned together, I added a little bit more glue at the hands that they would actually be stuck together as well. I just made it so that Zip was looking down the barrel of the gun. And finally, the sword gets added onto the side of Captain Zip, which was not too bad, using a bit of blue tack uh, to hold it. And that is Captain Zip done. He is definitely the easiest mini out of the bunch. So from here, it's all downhill, unfortunately. If you're finding this video useful, then please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what the hardest model to put together was for you. Okay, all burns. So the first thing I did is I glued his mullet onto the back of his head. And uh, this is a good thing to do because the head only keys onto the body properly once the, the hair is glued on. So it's good to get the, the hair glued on like so. And then I glued the chain onto his right foot, which was a bit of a mistake, as we'll see later. Um, I would wait to do the chain as the last step. But uh, I did it here and it kind of screwed me up a bit later. Now I added his little tool belt thing onto his waist, which, um, could have done last because it is, there is like that delicate part of the hammer, but uh, it turned out okay. Now we are doing the head and as you'll see that you need both parts of the head glued together first before you can attach it to the body and have it all fit together properly. Now for his arms, they come as a single piece. You have to glue both both arms on at once and you just have to sort of get them in position and then let it rest and don't touch it too much so that it can dry. Make sure it dries otherwise you'll screw up the arms. So now we're doing the legs and this is where the chain screwed me up. So uh, ideally what I should have done is glued both legs onto the torso first and then let them dry so that the legs were in the correct position and then glued the chain onto and between the legs. But because the chain was already on one leg, it was not really aligned correctly. So it was actually pulling the two legs out of place. And so the legs are like not 100% lined up with my torso on the burns. But um, it wasn't too bad in the end, but I would have done the chain last if I did it again. All right, the first mate. So mistakes were also made immediately here. Uh, I would definitely not glue the foot onto the leg like I'm doing. Um, the main issue is there's no way to get the alignment fully correct because it turns out the foot wasn't uh, perfectly 
level with the, the ground. But anyway, um, here I'm gluing the two parts of the head together, which was simple and that fit together really nicely. And then I glued the head onto the body, which was also easy because of the strong key there. Now we're gonna glue the tail onto the torso, which is also pretty simple because it just slots in. So yeah, if I was doing the first mate again, I would have done head, torso, and, and tail. And then the arms, which I'm doing here. So the, the left arm and the anchor both have contact points, which glue into the, the torso and they fit in nicely. And then the, the right arm also glues in pretty nicely because it's got a, a strong keying as well. So I would have done this and then I would have done the legs last. And I would have done the same as Elburn. So I would have glued the legs into the torso and let them dry. And then the last thing I would have done is glued the feet onto the legs because what I actually did is I glued the feet onto the legs and I had no way to know exactly um, what was level with the feet and I actually um, screwed it up and I had to sort of bend the feet and that caused uh, all sorts of issues. So ideally I would have glued the legs into the torso and let them dry once they were all aligned and then put the feet on very last so I could make sure that everything was level. I got it pretty close in the end, but it's not quite perfect. Okay, we have Iron Skeeter A, or Iron Skeeter 1 on the build instructions. The first thing we're doing is putting this little nose piece between the two torso pieces. You have to do this because uh, it fits between them and if you forget to do it, then there's no way to put it in. So make sure you get that little nose piece in and then we're gonna put the other torso piece on and that, as you see, holds the nose piece between the two torso pieces. Now with the torso together, we can put the head on and that will give a lot of strength to the nose piece. Cause I actually, I kind of half broke my nose piece as well when I was doing this. So you just have to be really, really careful. But um, with the head there, it sort of gives it a bit more strength and it was not too bad in the end. Now we're putting the two parts of his head together. That was pretty simple, but um, they were actually kind of like tight, the two pieces. So I used a lot of glue and then I had to use a lot of force to really squeeze the heads together. And, um, but they, they gave after a little bit and squished together. Now the, the torso is pretty simple. I uh, just put the upper torso on first. And that was easy to get in there. And then I glued on the lower torso, which was also pretty simple once the upper part was on first. Yeah, so it just slots in there once the upper torso is on. Now we're gonna glue the head onto the upper torso, which was pretty simple, but maybe I would have used a stickier glue because I don't think it fitted fully flush, but it went on there. Now the anchor, um, for some reason, one of the prongs you have to glue on and yeah, you just have to be really careful. I used the blue tack here to hold the parts and uh, eventually got them aligned and stuck together. And on there, once it was on, I just sort of very carefully aligned it and made sure it was okay. Now this is where I made a huge mistake. I glued the gremlin onto the iron skeeter and this was a massive mistake, don't do this. You have to get the iron skeeter legs on first because the gremlin's feet actually block the iron skeeter's legs, as you'll see, so I had to do some surgery to get it all to fit afterwards. But yeah, don't glue the, um, the, the two parts together. Now I'm gluing the, um, the arms on. So there was a bit of glue on both elbows and on the control stick. 
and I kind of got it on there and it should just, that hand should just slot onto the control stick and it'll fit in place. And then I use some regular plastic glue as well to glue the anchor piece on. And there's a sort of little triangle that will fit into, uh, into the side of the gremlin there. Now the, um, the upper wings of the, the iron skeeter fit in and they sort of go one way, which I showed in the video. But they're pretty simple to get in, but they're not so easy to get them perfectly aligned. I didn't quite get there, but I was pretty close. So now I'm doing the right legs of the iron skeeter, which fit in. They're all pretty easy to get in, but the left legs of the iron skeeter will not fit in because the foot of the gremlin blocks it. So that was a big mistake. I had to carve off a lot of this part of the leg so that I could fit it in under his foot. And once I did a lot of carving off, I managed to squeeze it in underneath his foot and it's not too noticeable. I did a little bit of filling with some milliput. Now the front legs will fit on and they go in pretty simply. You just have to make sure that you push them in and make sure they are aligned correctly and evenly to both sides as well. And that you don't mix the directions up. And there we go, that's the first iron skeeter. And yeah, make sure you get all the skeeter legs on first before you attach the gremlin. Otherwise it just will not work and you have to do a lot of surgery. Now we have Iron Skeeter B or Iron Skeeter 2 and for this one the two torso pieces just fit together which is nice and easy and then I glued the gremlin's head together which was pretty easy because of the keyed and now we're going to glue the Skeeter head on which gives it a bit more stability and then the gremlin's head onto the gremlin's body and that was pretty simple. Now we have this like the hook which is again weird why you have to add the third hook to the anchor. This one never really looked right but I got it as close as I could. Then we have the uh, rope section, which is kind of hard to figure out where it actually goes, but it sort of goes under his hand. And then there's a little part of piece of rope that is blank where it sort of slots in. But um, yeah, it sort of goes in like that and it sort of gets there in the end. I did the iron skeeter's legs first this time. I learned my lessons and um, they fit in nice and easily. This time I decided to glue the legs onto the iron skeeter first before gluing them to the torso. So they just fit into the slots on the side which works out pretty well. And then I decided to glue the torso onto the legs and the skeeter. And that fit in pretty well, there's a little bit of a gap. Then I glued on the arm which goes, it has the arm and the control arm as well and that just fits in, you just have to kind of align it. And the Iron Skeeter upper wings, which fit in pretty well, but again, alignment is a bit tough. You just try and have to make them even between both sides. And there we go, that's uh, Iron Skeeter B. That was not too bad, except for the, the rope and the anchor parts. And we have Iron Skeeter C or Iron Skeeter 3. His eyes go on first, that's nice and easy, they just slot in. And then we have a side of the Skeeter torso. That didn't really fit super well, so I had to fill it with a bit of glue. And then the, the leg sections, well the whole torso of the Gremlin go on. 
and then I glued the, the feet on quite bravely, uh, but that was not too bad in the end. And then this whole like arm and, and rope section uh, goes, goes in and there's a few contact points for that. And then I did the, the wings, which is again, they go in easily, but getting the alignment right is tough. Just let that dry a bit. Now I'm doing the left arm. There's two contact points here, so you just have to be really careful and try and get it aligned. And once it's aligned, just let it dry. So to let it dry, I did the the lower leg section, which fit in, and then I did the the forward legs, which fit in pretty easily. But you just have to work on getting the alignment right. Now I'm doing the anchor onto the to the rope section and I was pretty proud of this. I got it aligned pretty nicely. But yeah, just be really, really careful with it. <laughs> but you get there. Then I did the final front leg. I just tried to get that aligned evenly with the other front leg and let it all dry. And there we go. That's Iron Skeeter C. And he is a really cool one. I think he's the best looking one. But that, that anchor, you just have to be really careful with the alignment. And that's all the models put together. It's a bit of an odyssey, a bit of a mission to do that, but we did it. And uh, hopefully you guys got all your models together as well. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.